In this video I'm going to show you how to make a scarecrow which has been made using recycled materials and it's a great one to make with the kids. To start off you want to get all your clothes that you're going to use to dress the scarecrow and lay them flat. That way you're going to know how long to make your frame. Now you want to leave about 12 inches for the head and roughly the same for sticking in the ground. The crossbar where the arms are I've lined it up but then I've taken two to three inches off each end that way it makes it easier when you go to put the shirt on. So once you've done that you've got to find the midpoint on the horizontal piece of timber and then secure it with a couple of screws. To dress the scarecrow you want to start with the shirt. So stretch it over one end and then with the other. Then what you want to do is make a hole right in the part where you don't really want a hole in the jeans and then you fit the stake through and I find it better to pop it back in the ground at this point. Then using a piece of string or some braces or some rope you want to secure the jeans over the horizontal piece of timber and that way they're secured to the frame and they can hang there for a little bit until we go to stuff them. And if you can see here at the bottom of the shirt I've just used a simple cable tie to tie it to the frame leaving the sides free to flap about. So when it comes to stuffing I've used two methods. I've used the traditional method of here and I've also used uh, recycled plastics. Now if you are using recycled plastics it's better to put them in a big bag that way it keeps them all together and I find uh, the, the plastic bag method is good for the stomach. Now you want to pop it in there, button them up and you want to button the jeans and attach the jeans to the shirt. I've just tightened the uh, string at this point. Again, if you've got braces, you can tighten your braces. And when it comes to stuffing the trousers, again, you want to use a couple of cable ties just to pinch the bottoms together. That way the straw doesn't come out the bottom. So once you've done that, if you get large handfuls of straw and stuff as much as you can down both trouser legs, you want it nice and plump. And once you've filled both legs, if you button them back up, if you tighten your string or your braces, whatever you've used, and then make sure you took all the shirt in and took the tummy in. So for the head, I've just used a simple hessian sack, the type that you would store onions in. And I filled it about halfway with the straw and then tied it together using a cable tie, but I haven't tied it too tight. I've left a little hole so we can slot it over the frame so the hole wants to be big enough to fit two to three fingers in and that should be good to put in on top of the frame and at the back I've just tied it together just to make it a little bit more rounded so with my scarecrow I've just used an old hat I've put some straw in where the hands should be you could also use uh, sticks or branches as well and I've just popped some straw uh, and shoved it in his hat just for some hair. I've popped a belt on and I've also put some wellies on at the bottom. If you are using wellies, make sure you've lined all this up correctly at the beginning so you've got the right height. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check out the channel where I've got hundreds of other videos that I think you'll like.